here we are in a beautiful slightly breezy northern california day looking at a very nice really fun story on this one 1968 shelby gt500 convertible 428 cubic inch we're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do but the story on this car is what's really cool um a lot of we went over it we spent a lot of time up on the uh, I put it up on ramps and got underneath it and studied the floor pans and got all the numbers that I could for you. Those will all be at Spud's Garage. We'll cover the story as we walk around here. But in the meantime here, we're just going to cover it. comes with the uh, Deluxe Marty Report. This car also has its original build sheet, which is included with the car. It's also in the Shelby Registry. You'll see us refer to that throughout the video here. There were 4,451 Shelbys built in 1968. 1,423 of them were GT500s. 400 to them were convertibles and you can go down and break the list here but uh, lime gold 33 were produced in lime gold you can pause here one of 10 with the uh, 15 with a white convertible top 10 with the extra cooling package marty reports here um, the shelby stickers here it has currently on it it has uh, uh, shelby reproduction uh, wheels on it to make the uh, alloy wheels the owner has the original hubcaps and wheels for it, but let me tell you a little bit about the story on the car. This owner has owned this car since about 1975. Um, him and a buddy decided in 75 when they were in Kansas, uh, and they saw an ad in Kansas City, Missouri for a 68 Shelby GT500 and several other Shelbys in a collection. He went out, made a deal with a gentleman. Him and his buddy both bought a car. Uh, he bought a red CJ convertible and he bought this one. They uh, made payments to the guy for several years till it was all paid off. But it just a uh, cool little story. On about 1979, the owner uh, was going to be moving out here to California, so he sold it to a friend with the first right of refusal to purchase it back. So he purchased the car back in 1982 and has retained in California since that time rock solid floor pans original sheet metal car to the best of my ability i've covered every square inch of this car and all sheet panels we've covered numbers on the uh, uh, date code stampings on the rockers we take you under the undercarriage with a video here it's finished in lime gold with a black interior it was refinished the, the lime gold somewhere in the 80s um, but it's pretty rare to find a car that's got good cool history like this we get underneath the hood we'll fire up the engine for you and that kind of stuff and I'll have the registry book open and cover all the items that I can tell you about but I spent probably four or five hours studying this car for you on this trip this is a really really nice original 62,000 mile car uh, the miles are it will be sold as actual miles Again, he has the original wheels and hubcaps for it. Wheels and hubcaps has the original spare in the trunk. The glass, when we have the, we'll have a segment of the video with the top up and we have all the windows up for you to look at the glass markings. All the glass in the car is all original with the exception of the front windshield. The fit and finish of the car is nice. It's a very nice professional uh, paint job on it. It's been in the garage the whole time here. Driven sparingly. Most of the interior is uh, all original, the door panels, that type of thing. He can't remember if he ever did interior in it, but certainly 62,000 miles and dash pads original, all the trim on the dash. It's an automatic. Look at the condition of the upholstery uh, in here. Tonneau cover. It comes with the original Tonneau cover that's aged from the years, but this is a reproduction that's on here. Nicely optioned. Uh, I'll pull the wheel down and show you there. It has a tilt pop wheel in it. Has the shoulder harness restraints on it. Right here, which was an option. And you saw the build sheet from Shelby. That'll break down the options for you. These are original armrests. You can tell it's been uh, loved and protected for a lot of years. Door shut nice. Invariably a semi drives by or something when I'm doing one of these so The body is absolutely whistle straight we cover the trunk we cover the inside of the quarters The rockers on the undercarriage portion of it again appear to all be original sheet metal on it It comes with uh, the original bezels. He put uh, Replacements one on here, but you can see what the chrome was like before that'll be a segment of the video 
So it's just been nicely well maintained over the years, running wise, runs beautifully. I'll actually take it down the road and turn it around. Really classic lime gold color, one of 33 produced in this color, or I can't remember what the number was. I'll go back and look. Um, it has the uh, tilt and pop wheel that we talked about. I went ahead and pulled it down here. See it pop up when I open the door. You have the key in your hand? Yeah. I'm going to want to fire it up here and go over the gauges with them. You can take that uh, out of there. Show board so I don't end up. Uh, we're going to fire it up here for you. We'll fire it up in the engine portion segment too. Oh, your tilt wheel's got to be down. I've got to shut the door for that to happen. It'd be nice for me to do that. Steering wheel's got a uh, fail safe on it from the factory. So when that tilt wheel's up, it won't start. If the door's open, the tilt wheel's up, or the pop wheel. And it has a uh, tilt wheel function on it. So tilt, tilt away steering wheel, 62,075 actual miles on it. Fuel gauge works, all the gauges work with the exception of the clock, which is not unusual. It has the original Philco radio in it. Works. Gauges work up in the dash here. The seat belts are actually date coded. We'll have pictures of those. Spuds Garage. We'll get out and let you hear it run here. We do that with the uh, video too. Over the engine compartment video. Really nice car, great story, same old. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood here and cover it for you. We'll actually do a little fire up for you too, that type of thing. Underneath the hood, all factory in its style and presentation. This car, as we talked about during the walk around, has a really neat ownership history. This particular owner, uh, dating back to 75. Original buck tags here on the fender. I'm gonna cover some really fun stuff here because we went through all the numbers on the engine. We're gonna have photos of the cast date on the block and it matches up and coincides with the uh, history and the uh, Shelby registry. Here's the original Shelby tag. You'll see uh, original spot welds on the core support here, that type of thing. Uh, factory power steering, factory uh, power disc brakes on the front. Still has the Thermector uh, smog system on it, Holly 4 barrel, we took photos of that, we'll have it at spudsgarage.com, it's a 428 cubic inch 4 barrel V8, I think they're rated right around 360 horsepower, we'll get the specs at Spuds Garage, but if you're looking for one of these cars you probably know, uh, if they're new to you, this is a good honest car dating way back, anyway I wanted to share the history with you, the date code on the block actually co-aligns with the history known in the Shelby registry here. Um, for some reason the page, the wind decided to blow right now, but uh, we'll get it right. But here on the page, uh, they actually on 523 of 69, it went in for turn signals weren't working, that type of thing, and it had some engine problems, but they did an engine block, it was overheating, the rings and bearings at the dealer, so they replaced the block. The date code on this engine matches this Shelby history, so it is a factory installed block here. This owner's owned it a long time. At one time, he can't remember, he believes he did a valve job on it with all new stainless valves, that kind of thing, but he doesn't have a receipt file and doesn't remember clearly, but over the years, he's maintained it well. 62,000 actual miles on it. Overall level of detail is very nice. We talked about the walk around. The car was repainted in the uh, 80s, and it's very nice and limited miles. Went through the uh, date codes on, took pictures of those. We'll have them in Spud's Garage, believed to be all original sheet metal. And I know I'm going to repeat myself uh, as we go out throughout here. Original style exhaust, C6 select to shift automatic in it, Ford 9 inch rear differential. We're going to fire it up here for you. And kind of get Starts right up. Oh, 
car is still cold. Wanted to note that he has, and you'll catch it in another segment of the video here towards the end, he has the original radiator. This is a Griffin radiator, but he has the original Fomoco radiator if you wanted to put a new core in and put it in the car, retain the original tanks. Rev it up a little bit, Tom. There you go. Okay, while I was sitting here, I figured I'd take it for a little drive and show you. We're just gonna go down the street. We know this car runs and drives fine. It runs flawlessly. We haven't even had a chance for it to, it's just now starting to warm up. Drives nice, steering's nice, brakes nice. There you go. All right, we'll give you the uh, video of the top up here since most of the photo shoot and walk around was done uh, with the top down. We wanted to share the car that way. All the glass has the original uh, car light markings on it. Wind wing, the windshield's been replaced at one time. One of ten with a white top on it. Remember the spec sheet, right? But all the glass markings are on the car. Short little clip here, the original build sheet is included. The owner located it in the car more than 40 years ago, roughly. Um, it has a, uh, it is in the registry here, which documents the car. We'll have that at uh, Spud's Garage, scans of that in the Shelby registry. There you go. All right, included with it is the uh, Deluxe Marty Report. Has the original data tag in the door jam. This is a reproduction that you can get when you order the Deluxe Report goes through the details. They built basically 402 of these convertibles were built. The GT500s. We'll have pictures of this at Spud's Garage for you to take a look. Alright, we'll get you in the trunk here. Share the quarter panels, both rear. You'll see the original coating on them, the original quarter panels. All original sheet metal on this car. Spare, the jack is in here. Tanu cover, the original Tanu cover is included. It's aged and had the original bag. In here is the foam pads for the Tanu cover when you have the top down. Let's give you a peek in here. See all the original spot welds along there. On the wheelhouses, I don't think I can get in here. But down in the well there. Side of the deck lid. Right, quick little video here. These are the original hubcaps. It has uh, reproduction alloys on it, but these are the original hubcaps of the car. Well, actually, okay, here are the uh, original wheels that are included with the car, the original spares in the car. The original factory wheels are sitting on Goodyear. Goodyear tires, polyglass tires. Right here, some miscellaneous parts that are included. The starter, I couldn't tell you if it's the original or not. Um, it has the uh, original tail light bezels here. When they refinish it, they replace the bezels. It's got some uh, window whiskers and an antenna. All right, we're gonna get to the undercarriage here for you. We didn't have a lift uh, this trip where we're at, but I. Uh, Got it up in the air enough where I could really roll underneath it and study it. Very nice, solid, original floor pan car. Um, Sixty-some thousand miles on the odometer. 
So disc brakes there. Kind of get a feel. We'll take a lot of photos of the engine components, that type of thing. Mention that during the rest of the video. Um, Kansas City, Missouri to California here. Get the video here. I did take pictures of the uh, all the rockers and floor pans are original. Uh, been totally underneath it. I'll lay down here in the ground in a minute. Rock solid inside and out. See here, that's just discoloration. It has the uh, original rockers on it with the date codes on the rockers right there. We took photos. We'll have that at Spud's Garage. Crossover exhaust here. Trying to get you a good view while we're underneath here. 9 inch rear differential and we'll have it all decoded at Spud's Garage but you'll see this nice original unrestored floor pans. Studied it well. All panels appear original. We'll go around to the other side. Uh, these are reproduction Shelby wheels on the front. I mean not all the way around. Same thing over on this side. Very solid, nice, original car. Again, this is just surface where it kicks the dust up and dirt up. Um, transmission tag is in place. We'll have a picture of that at Spud's Garage. C6 automatic. You'll see all original floor pans and again, rockers here. And we did take a picture of the uh, date code on the rockers too. There you go. We'll get to the back and cover that for you. All right, we got the back of the car up. Uh, wanted to share the undercarriage on the tail here. Again, original rockers, all original floor pans. You'll see. I was underneath here. It's. It's. You'll see the. Uh, Red, ox red oxide and you'll see the red oxide paint drips which is next to impossible to duplicate. You'll see it along here, the red oxide paint drips on the brace. All the floor pans are original. The uh, tag is on the rear differential there. We'll have a uh, photo at Spud's Garage of that Ford 9 inch. You can see the red oxide coming through the 60,000 miles worth of dirt on the bottom of the car. Honest, rock solid. Check the rear frame horns on the back here on both sides are very nice. Again, solid. get up here into the quarters kind of give you a feel quarters back all original no rust original style exhaust again original floor pans you can see a hint of the red oxide over on the side over there Again, has the paint drips on it, or the red oxide drips. Anyways. All right, taking it back to his garage. Could be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's garage. Have a great day.